throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. A recurring element found in many mythologies is the strongest deity and often the most worshipped of the pantheon is the god of thunder and at times the god of war. In Slavic mythology, the most powerful and most widely worshipped of the pantheon was Perun, who acted as both god of thunder and god of war, as well as of the skies, of law and justice. Perun was often depicted in art as a powerfully built man with a full beard, tall as an oak with a furrowed brow and a dour expression of a warrior king. He was almost always shown carrying weaponry, most prominently the Axe of Perun, a mighty weapon that returned to his hands when thrown, not unlike Thor's hammer Mjolnir in Norse mythology. Other weapons are said to include a warhammer, a mace, and a bow that shot lightning bolt tipped arrows. He was said to ride across the sky in a chariot whose rolling wheels made the sounds of rolling thunder, said to be pulled by either a pair of goats or by horses capable of breathing fire. Due to Christianization in Eastern Europe, Many Slavic myths were lost to time and the effects of colonization and religious conversion. Perhaps as a result of his popularity among the Slavic peoples, many of the surviving myths surround the Thunder God. Perun's father was Svarog, a god of fire and prominent figure in Slavic lore. And his mother was said to be Lada, the goddess of love, joy, and fertility. His wife was Mokosh, the great mother and protector of women, while their children were Yarilo, the god of springtime and vegetation, and Marzana, the goddess of frost, winter, and death. Similar to the cosmological beliefs of peoples from Scandinavia and the Baltic region, Slavic mythology represented the world as a sacred oak tree whose branches and trunk represented the worlds of gods and mortals, while its roots represented the underworld, known as Nav. Perched at the top of this tree was Perun, in the form of an eagle, keeping vigilant watch over the living world. At the tree's roots lurked his antithesis, Veles, or Volos, the god of the earth, waters, livestock, and the underworld in the form of a great serpent. Though Veles is not an evil being, nor was he greatly feared by the populace, he strived to climb to the top of the world tree, and in his desires he caused a drought in the world of humans. But his rivalry with Perun came about when he stole his cattle from him, or in other tales stole Perun's wife or son. Angered, Perun engaged Veles in battle, pelting him with his lightning bolts, causing him to flee, hiding in the forests, shapeshifting into trees, animals, and people. In the end, Perun defeated Veles, sending him back to the underworld. The livestock and family members that Veles stole were returned to Perun and the mortal world was given back to in the form of rain falling from the skies. Though this would not be the last time that Veles would try to make his way up the world tree, making an attempt every year. This storm myth or divine battle, as it is referred to by many scholars, was how the ancient Slavs made sense of the changing of seasons. The dry periods were seen as the chaotic results of Veles' ambition and thievery and blatant insulting of Perun. Storms and lightning 
were seen as the battles between Perun and Veles. The ensuing reign was seen as the triumph of Perun over Veles and the re-establishment of world order. On a deeper level, by climbing up into the sphere of Perun, Veles disrupted the natural balance of the world and needed to be dealt with accordingly. Perun achieved this through fierce battle, smiting his adversary with lightning and driving him back down where he belonged. With order restored, the two gods cease hostilities until the next time that Veles tries to crawl into Perun's realm. Though many finer details of Slavic mythology have been lost to the ages, the legends of Perun have endured. From ancient chronicles, Perun was a warrior god if ever there was one, sounding thunder from his chariot, protecting those who follow him with righteous fury, and raining lightning down upon his enemies. Weapons of both stone and iron were sacred to him. Treaties and oaths were made in his name. Oxen were sacrificed to him by farmers for a bountiful harvest. Even after the Christianization of Slavic regions, Perun's influence held strong. A shrine built for him in Novgorod continued to bear his name even after the shrine became a Christian monastery. Though the finer details of his myths are mysterious at best, Perun is an interesting deity whose surviving stories of battle and triumph offer a glimpse into the psyche of the ancient Slavs.